The latest on BP's operation to stop the oil leak 5,000 feet below the sea. Matt Gutman has the latest this morning from Venice, Louisiana. Good morning, Matt. Good morning, Bianna. And BP officials this morning are working almost as hard to tamp down expectations as they are to tamp down that oil gushing out of the well. And that process, Top Kill, which can just take a couple of hours, is taking days. Overnight, BP engineers continued to muscle mud, bits of tire, and rubber balls into the spewing well. That stew of mud and junk is being funneled into the blowout preventer, this 50-foot-tall stack of valves atop the wellhead. But top kill is going slowly. Work aboard these rigs was halted at least twice over the past 24 hours. We'll have periods where we're pumping. We'll have periods where we're monitoring uh, the results of that pumping. So the fact that we stop for periods of time and start again is not unusual. But it is time consuming. Top kill was supposed to begin last weekend. Work only began on Wednesday and it's still going. It will continue on likely for another 24 or even 48 hour period. Millions of gallons of oil later, patience is growing thin, including that of the president who came to see these blighted beaches and try to console residents. To the people of the Gulf Coast, uh, I know that you've weathered your fair share of trials and tragedy. I know there have been times where you've wondered uh, if you're being asked to face them alone. Forty days into this bill and the president has spent a total of two and a half hours on the ground here, making people like Sharif Fricky feel even more alone. What is our government doing for us? BP isn't our government. We didn't vote for them. Fricky owns Ma's restaurant here. She cries at work and she cries at night. My husband just holds me in his arms. So all I could do is cry. This is tearing our lives up. But, I mean, you're scared. I'm scared for my kids. I'm scared for my grandkids. My workers are sick. And we're learning that there may be more reason for people like Sharif Ricky to feel scared. Overnight, those four people medevac to hospital, some of them with chest pains after they had been working near that spill site. And that came just a few days after nine other workers who say they were contaminated by some of that dispersant were hospitalized. They claim the same symptoms headaches, dizziness, and chest pains. Diana. You know, Matt, I want to ask you a question. We're hearing more and more local reports that BP may have brought in extra workers to clean up just in time for the president's visit. What do we know about that, and is it accurate? Well, local officials said yesterday that BP seemed to have brought in a battalion of these cleanup workers just as President Obama arrived. And after he left, they took off their gear and they left. BP officials said it was just the end of their shift.